Ambrow VPA power supplies have two utilities useful for determining tap and choke selection as well as the appropriate start frequency. Both of these features are located in the SysStat menu of your machine. Simply press the SysStat soft key and the features are located at the bottom of the menu. The low level scan and the learn start frequency features perform roughly the same function but the low level scan does it in much more detail. Generally speaking, we recommend trying a learn start frequency test first. Both algorithms function like this. The power supply sweeps the frequency in small increments starting at the lowest operating frequency of the machine. At each step, the power supply measures the voltage and current, and based on those measurements, it determines the resonant frequency of the system. It also determines the approximate impedance of the system. With that information, it can provide the end user with a starting point for configuring the transformer and choke located inside the power supply. To perform a learn start frequency operation, begin by moving the transformer tap to the lowest setting. That is typically tap 10 or tap 11 on most systems. In addition, move the choke to the highest tap, which is typically tap 8 on most systems. Be sure to change the tap selected in the workhead config menu as well. Now we're going to perform this operation and first you are going to press the SysStat soft key. Scroll down to the learn start frequency line and press the right arrow key. The display will prompt you to press start. After pressing start the machine will do a scan and if possible will display a solution that includes transformer tap selection, choke tap selection, and will set the proper start frequency. If there is a problem with the installation or the coil cap combination is not in range, the machine will display an error. You will want to verify that the tap matches what was recommended in the algorithm. Now, there are some caveats to consider. It is common for the run frequency to increase with load. If you will be running the machine routinely without a part in the coil, you should first run a learn start frequency routine with a part installed. This will establish a guideline for the transformer and coil tap selection. Note these values, but do not make any immediate changes. Remove the part and run the learn start frequency routine again. This will set the proper start frequency for an unloaded coil. 
you may now change the transformer tap and coil tap to the previously recommended values. Another caveat is that the values determined during a learn start frequency routine are simply a guideline. They will typically get you very close to a 100% match. It is important to note that it's quite possible that other settings may be more suitable for your application though. It is perfectly acceptable to only have a 50% match or something else if you're producing acceptable parts. Do not use the Learn Start Frequency feature if you're using a voltage doubled work head configuration. The higher voltage can damage your system. And finally, if the power supply gives you an error during the Learn Start Frequency routine, the most probable cause is an incorrect installation especially incorrect polarity. Other common errors are a short circuit somewhere in the system, a coil cap combination that is resonant above or below the operating range of the power supply. And that concludes the caveats that we had here and also concludes this training video.